Hello fellow YouTubers, I have uh, invested in a bed laser, I suppose you'd call them, um, the other laser I've got, which I'm going to keep, is uh, limited in size obviously, I knew that when I bought it, but I bought it for a specific purpose, which I'm quite happy with. Uh, I bought a very cheap bed laser, I'm going to call it a bed laser, off Facebook guy builds them uh, but when you look at the price of these um, what they call them, honeycomb beds to go with them it would they were ridiculous prices so me being me um, I thought I'd have a go at resourcing and making me own uh, I think so far when you see what I've got together um, I have spent less than twenty pounds. Yeah, less less than twenty pounds. Um, I've got all the bits there, and I'll show you the bit, uh, the laser, and what I'm going to do with it, and we'll go from there. So, so this is the uh, cheap laser. I'm going to call it, like I say, laser bed. It will do something like four or five hundred mil square. That's way bigger than I want it to be or need it to be. I've mounted it to a half inch or 12 mil piece of MDF so that it's all nice and solid. What I'll now show you is my attempt at making a honeycomb bed. Right, so I have not attached anything yet just so I can show you. This is uh, aluminium and this is what it's actually from. These were, I think, £3.50. They're very light. They bend and shape easily. So I've managed to flatten them out nicely. I've cut four pieces of pine. Doesn't really matter because they're probably over time going to get burnt anyway. And the biggest expense was this. This is a piece of 400 by 400 one and a half mil thick aluminium and that was just over 12 pound so unfortunately these the aluminium the grill they only measure 390 so it's five mil aside I don't really care too much it ain't that big a deal so what I was thinking is I'm going to put come in five mil on each end, each side, and I'm just trying to decide whether to go with one, one in the middle, or two in the middle. I'm not sure, and I still haven't made my mind up either. Uh, these, I mean, if you. Not bad. I think probably I will go with two in the middle so the span is more supported but um, yeah I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, I'm just going to drill some holes, mark out and drill some holes in the back of this plate, countersink them and so I can then just screw from the underside of this into these and these I think what I'm going to do is probably just staple them. It's soft enough. You can then, if this gets worn, broken, whatever, the idea will be that you can just undo the staples, pull them out, and get recut or cut them and cut another one and then restaple them down. So that's a theory. Don't know whether it's going to work but we'll see. So I'll be back in a minute. I'm going to drill, drill these holes in here. You don't need to see me doing it. So I'll do that and then I'll, I will fix them to the back and then uh, I'll probably staple these down and then we'll see how we get on. So I'll be back in a little bit. There's just three screws in the back of each strip of wood. Um, so now is the time to try and fix this 
mesh down. So I'm just going to square it up as best as I can. Somewhere about there. Now I'm just going to use an ordinary hand stapler. Um, I have got a stapler that I could use uh, with air and stuff, but I think that will be just too powerful. So here goes. Oh, that's pretty good. Quite pleased with that. And the last bit, little tiny off cut. Okay, so I was just going to get a hammer and tap them down and then we'll try and set the laser up and give it a go, see whether it works. There we go. Any of air flow. I mean, I could even probably have drilled some holes in these as well, but I don't think we're, it's that super critical from my understanding of it all. So, right, I'll try and set the laser up and uh, see if we can cut something. Unfortunately, the other one didn't cut through. I think that's probably just because it's not... Oh, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't very flat. But that's 2 mil, two mil hardboard. Uh, I think we'll call that a success. Right, there we go. So, hopefully that's been... A relatively short one but there you go uh, less than 20 pounds um, bit of scrap wood a uh, bit of barbecue wire and uh, most expensive bit was the plate on the back so hopefully you found that useful um, and uh, I'll maybe see you on the next one so take care Cheers, thanks very much.